You guys ready for a really, really deep poem? Oh, yeah. Well, too bad. Um, <laughs> so, over the summer I've been taking a class called Math 107. This poem is called Math 107. <laughs> Look, I don't have a look, I don't have a I heart math shirt. Rather it says math makes my brain hurt. With all the piles and piles of homework, pages filled with black and white, containing shapes with length, width, and height. Man, this is math 107. Better crank your math skills up to 11. From order of operations to fractions and equation. Dude, what's the relation between X and Y? Psy, why? I wish I could just get this over with and say goodbye, looking out the window at the blue sky, rather than being the sky that's just a little bit shy. <laughs> You must be kidding, because this sounds like it's becoming a religion. You sit there and listen, multiplication and division. The teachers, the preachers, public speaker, speaker, giving these kids the math fever. My colleagues, I hear them, chanting the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Why should I care? <laughs> I saw silly. Isosceles, right, equilateral triangles. Man, why even try to find these angles? These numbers, they mangle. They come from demons, not angels. <laughs> these math equations racking my brain, smack me insane. X, Y, Z, theta, and beta. Variables that are able to express the unknown. Plug in the numbers, then they become known. Mind blown. Just remember, work has to be shown. <laughs> units, whether it's squared or cubic, because in the future somebody's going to read it and use it. You're sitting at the table, pencil and palm, about to drop the F-bomb, because you realize you wrote the question down wrong. That nine was supposed to be a four. I'm about to throw my notebook on the floor. Dude, I need to walk out the door and go back to elementary school, because how am I expected to succeed when I can't even read? Yeah, this is math 107. Better crank your math skills to 11. <laughs> now she's on the polygons. Teacher, you can stop. I'm long gone. I, I had to get into a mental car crash just to wrap my head around this. I had to go to the ER to get removed from the car. Math was the obstacle, and I got wrecked, wrecked from my train of thought. Now that you're the te now the teacher is handing out the page that says, screw you. Ah, shh. It's a review. Be cycled, do you see what I have to go through? Test is next class. Better hope you pass. <sighs> Trying to decipher these notes you've written. Cube cylinders and rectangular prisms. Wait, those notes are missing. Oh, I should have stayed awake and listened. Staying awake the night before, now sitting in class, trying not to snore because it's hard, because math is a bit of a bore. <laughs> Going home to study, unlucky because I don't have a study buddy. Man, tomorrow's gonna get ugly and bloody because the math equation that I would do is anything but lovely. <sighs> Day of the test. I should have gotten some better rest. Cold chill in the air as you sit down in your chair, looking at your fit. At the figure, hang on the trigger, and by that I mean, ready to do some trig? Sure. <laughs> you got a triangle with measurement fragments, that, that's when you whip out sine, cosine, and tangent. So, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Remember with the same statement, Chief Soka Toa. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw you. It's, it's about an hour and a half of the mental murder for this math learner. Oh, thank you. It's finally over. Until next class, where your teacher tells you to flip up your math books open, says formulas, you better know them. I start writing. And that's the birth of the Math 107 poem. Yeah, it's Math 107. Better crank your math skills up to 11, because man, this class is anything but heaven. Yeah.